Okay, here's how we're gonna. This is the gas lever over here on the right. That goes down three or four notches. You can see it there, a couple notches like that. The advance is all the way over here. It's on the left side of the steering wheel. It's gotta go all the way up. That's as far retarded as the advance can go. You don't want it advanced when you're starting the car or it can kick back and break your arm. The handbrake here operates all uh, two of the pedals, the clutch and the brake. And when the handbrake is off, you can see the clutch and the brake come out. You want the handbrake on, it pulls the clutch down and the brake so that the car doesn't move. When you start the car, the ignition switch goes in the middle to choke it three or four times. I'll show you that in a second. And then when you're actually trying to pull it to start, it goes over here on battery. If this car had magnetos, we'd switch it over to run on the magneto on the left, but it doesn't have magnetos, so we leave it in the battery position to run it, to drive it around. Okay, choke it in the middle three or four times. You'll see that in a minute. And then when you're ready to start it, you leave, put it there and run. Okay, all right. We'll show you here how it goes in a second. You'll see that uh, from the outside as I'm pulling on it. This is the engine. These are spring loaded. You pull them up and twist them. The whole thing comes up. This is just set on top. The whole thing will come off if you need it. All right, engine, four spark plugs on the top. This is the distributor. It's Volkswagen distributor. Grandpa replaced that. This is your carburetor. So the carburetor has a single gas line that goes to the gas tank under the seat. And it's uh, gravity driven. There's no fuel pump. Um, so we're gonna choke the car. I've got the switch in the middle. And the way that you choke it, Gary, if you'll come around, you'll see there's a brass pole right here, a little wire. You pull that all the way out. You engage the crank. You'll feel where it engages. And you pull once, twice, maybe three times. Come around to the side, Gary. And you'll see there's gas squirting out of the distributor, or the uh, carburetor when I pull it. See all the gas coming out of there? That's choked. That's really choked now. Okay, Stop. we just choked it. Now we're going to start it. So I've got the gas in the fourth position. I'm going to turn the switch to the on, to the battery, all the way to the right. And the advance is all the way up. So you grab the, uh, the crank. Your thumb goes underneath. Do not put your thumb on the top. Always underneath. If it kicks back, it'll break your thumb if you have it on top like that. Thumb underneath. Cup it. Use your knee. Press it in. You'll feel it click in, and that's where you want it, is right about there on that side. It'll click in up here on the top. You can't start it up here, okay? All the way down, feel it grab, and then you just pull up, okay? It didn't start that time, so I come down and get again. There you go. This is your choke, in case it doesn't run. Normally, you try to advance it pretty quick after you start it, and give it a little bit of gas. A lot of times you'll have someone standing back here. You can see I've gone down four or five spots and it's smoothed right out. If it's real cold, you'll have to be up front pulling the choke to give it more gas. Stop it. Spark is all the way up, retarded. Gas is down four. I've already choked it. I'm turning the switch to the right where it says battery. Around to the front. Crank, thumb underneath. Okay. In with my knee. Pull. Find it again. I have to turn it a little bit. Now pull. Okay. There you go. Like that. Turn the advance up. Help smooth it out. And then feather the gas. That's it. We're just trying to how to drive it without the car running so you can hear me. There's three pedals. This is your clutch, your first gear, and your high gear. This is your brake over here. This one is reverse, okay? And then the brake over here. Now the handbrake just grabs the brake and the clutch. You can see when I let the handbrake all the way forward, you can see the clutch moved up and the brake did. If I pull the handbrake down, see how the clutch and the brake are both actuated? Okay, so pulling that down, the clutch goes down a little bit. If you press the clutch all the way down, that's first gear. Okay, normally you're driving without the handbrake on. If you hold it in the middle, that's neutral. And if you take your foot all the way off, that is high gear. You only have two gears. So neutral, first gear, high, all the way up. When you want to stop, you got to hold the clutch in the middle and press on the brake with your right foot. 
If you get in trouble and you're going too fast, you can press all the way down into low gear and the brake, and then it'll kill the engine, but it'll slow the car down the fastest. If you're in real trouble, you'll hold the clutch in the middle and you jam on reverse and brake at the same time, or you grab, you grab the handbrake and you pull that as hard as you can as well. All right, that's high gear, low gear, and brake. All right, the way this works when you're actually driving it is you're gonna have your foot in the middle, that clutch holding it in the middle. The handbrake's gonna be all the way off, and the gas, the advance when you're driving is gonna be down like that, and the gas will probably be down like that. So when you're ready to go, you got your foot in the middle on the clutch, the car's not moving, you probably got your foot on the brake at the same time. You take your foot off the brake, you give it some gas, and then you press your foot, left foot, all the way down on that pedal on the left, all the way to the floor. That's gonna put it into low gear, okay? Then the car is going to speed up. You'll hear the engine. You're going to keep it the gas where you want it. When you get to about 10 miles an hour, you're going to turn the gas up. The engine will slow down, and you take your foot all the way off the pedal, just like that. That's going to take it into high gear. You'll hear the engine click in and the transmission click into high gear, and then you rev the engine up with the gas again, right, to get it in gear like you would if you were trying to feather a clutch in a regular car. Right? Then when it's time to slow down, you're going to slow the engine down, you're going to put your foot back here, press it halfway down, maybe all the way if you want to use the transmission to brake, or halfway if you want to use the brake. And then you press the brake, remember to keep the gas dialed back. When you come to a stop, you got to float it right in the middle. That clutch on the left, you got to float with your foot, or you're going to start rolling forward. Until you get used to it, you can always reach down and grab the handbrake, and the handbrake was going to put the clutch in the neutral position for you so you can feel it. Now I got my foot on the clutch. I'm going to release the handbrake. And you can see the car is not, well, it's rolling a little teeny bit. I'm going to give it some gas and then pressing my foot all the way down. And that puts it in the low gear. Okay, you can hear it now we're speeding up. Once we get about 10 miles an hour, gas up, foot all the way off. Now more gas again. That put it right up into high gear. That's all there is to it. If you want to come to a stop, put your foot in the clutch in the middle. Slow the gas down, put all the way down on the brake. If you can't find neutral, pull the handbrake. It'll get neutral for you. And there we stopped. Okay, all right, same deal. I got the handbrake on, my feet are on the pedals. The gas is a couple in, uh, notches down. I float my foot on the clutch, I let the handbrake off. I give it some gas, press all the way down. First gear, now we're going. We speed up. Gas all the way up, foot off, second gear, now gas back down. You can hear it lug up a little bit. Now you're in high gear, this is all you got. You can do about 30 this way. If you want to stop, right foot halfway down, sometimes you can go into high gear, brake all the way down, back off the gas, and now you can stop. If you don't know where clutch is, grab the handbrake, it'll find the clutch for you. Show you reverse. That's all. Now I always grab the handbrake for reverse, okay? handbrake on and you can actually go in forward with the handbrake on because it holds it in the clutch. Now I'm using a brake. Now I got the handbrake on halfway. Then you, you just grab reverse. You gotta turn your foot a little sideways to get it in there. Press it all the way down. Keep the gas up. Foot still all the way down on it. Okay, now we're in reverse. Take a little bit of the gas off. Brakes don't work as good in reverse when the car is going backwards. So you got to plan ahead when the car is rolling backwards. That's it. You notice I left the handbrake on the whole time just to keep it in the in neutral, not for the brake, just for neutral. Okay. 